I'm sure some of you know that a lot of your information is actually stored in the cloud. So uh, there's one thing to get extractions from phones. There's a whole different thing getting data from the cloud. Uh, I use iCloud and I'm sure lots of you use other cloud services. I used to use Google and Amazon. A lot of my data is on the cloud. Like when my son was born, I actually uh, backed up photos from my phone and from my camera all to, to, to Google Cloud. I also backed to Google Drive. I also backed it up to iCloud. You know, you don't want to lose his memory, especially working in this field and dealing with data recovery. You see people come in here distraught when they lose data from their phone, from their newborn or whatever. I mean, I, I don't want to lose these photos. I'm sure neither do you. If you have kids or you have any other pictures of family members that passed away or things like that. So because the cloud is so important and so so much, so many of us rely on the cloud. This is where forensic has been going for a long time. A lot of times we have to go to the cloud to get the data we want. So let's have a look. I was actually going to show you for cloud and Elcomsoft for iCloud and what we can find on there. Unfortunately, I could not get you for the cloud in time to, for this video. So that's going to be a separate video altogether, but I can show you outcome stuff in the meantime. So, uh, you for cloud is super powerful. It's not cheap, but it's super powerful. You can get data from a lot of different cloud sources. It's, it's, it's really good. Um, and I should have it next week. I might even have it today, but it's not enough. I just don't have enough time to put it in this video. That's why I'll make a separate video altogether. Uh, so in the meantime, I can show you, I can show you, um, Elcomsoft. I have the professional edition. I don't have the forensic edition. Um, we're contemplating which one to buy. So I think we're going to go with UFET cloud. I'm getting the trial version, uh, this week or next week. But in the meantime, I have Elcomsoft and I can show you what Elcomsoft can do. Like I said, this is a professional edition, not the forensic one, but for what we do at the moment, it's enough. So when you first install and you pay for your professional license, it's also home license, but anyways, you can um, download your backups or sync data or download files. These are three different three different categories. So let me just log in quickly to uh, look at the backups. If their backups are on the cloud, uh, you can you can actually download them. You also have to go through the two factor authentication, as you can see. It's a bit annoying. Um, mine is already set up with the tokens. I don't have to deal with it. Uh, so I have multiple devices on, on iCloud. I have some test phones uh, that I have on there too that I'm using for different uh, different reasons. But as we can see here, uh, let's say I wanted to get this, grab this phone. If I want to download this phone uh, to the computer, you can see there's also multiple snapshots. There's uh, one from the 13th and one from the 18th. And today is and today is the 19th. So we have we have. Uh, you can see here there's the 18th. I can't click on it apparently. There's the 18th. There's about a. Um, there's one. There's also on the 13th. So uh, it doesn't retain much more than that. It only retains three backups. One from one from today, one from yesterday, and one from uh, six days ago. So if I want to get it, hit download, and then I can import this into UFET, the current UFET that I do have. Uh, what else we got here on the cloud? We can also get, grab sync data. Let me just log in. And once you log in, uh, you're going to get different speeds. Now you see some categories are grayed out. The reason they're grayed out is because uh, without a professional, uh, without the uh, forensic license, you cannot grab those. So keychain, messages, health, uh, screen time, and voice memos. Those we can't get with professional version, unfortunately, but we can grab a bunch of other information here. We have wallets, Wi-Fi, uh, photos, notes, file vault, uh, account info, and things of that nature. And then let's look at the last one. So there's also files. So files are all the files that are backed up from different apps to the cloud plus the user files plus some deleted uh files from the uh, uh from icloud let's just log in there quickly and see what's on there as you can see i don't even remember having a, this iq test free i don't remember installing this it just must be on the cloud for the longest time i have whatsapp i have uh, a bunch of other things i see tons of different apps it also tells you the size on some of them. You can also see recent, recently deleted iCloud Drive. So if there's if if there's one there, we can grab it and download it. You see total size of my iCloud Drive is 50 gigs. I actually have way more than that. I have something like 350 gigs or something. Uh, I guess it doesn't count the photos. It just counts the data from the from the drive itself. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video. I the other video about the UFAT Cloud that's gonna be in the near future. Let me get it first. Might be today, might be Monday. It's now Friday, so if I get the UFAT Cloud, definitely gonna play around with it, and I'm gonna make a video on that. And I think that's gonna be way more interesting than the Alcomsoft one. 
because you cloud is so much more powerful you can do just you can grab data from so many different cloud sources not just iCloud you can do Google Drive you can do Uber you can do just there's just a lot of different services because a lot of these services have your data on that note I'll see you in the next video